Hello. Hi guys, in today's video, we're going to be building a Bloxburg house inside the new uh, Royal Kids themed bunk bed. Um, I've been known to build houses inside of many like super random crazy like objects in this game. I built a house inside the Bouncy Castle, built a house in gazebos, beach cabana unanas, trampolines, inside an actual swing set, like what, and rock climbing walls. I've done so many of these types of things. Um, so, I mean, anything that has like an enclosed space or has like a quote-unquote roof over it i'm gonna try and build a house in it so yeah we're gonna do that today oh today's color code of the day is by Kyrie, who says they don't know what it is so let's just try it 159 195 and 233 oh i love it <laughs> it's blue it's like a sky blue a baby blue um royal bunk bed home yes we're gonna try and make it fully functional as well where you can take care of all of your four mood bars in this game um, that is what I call a house, technically, I guess. Something... If we're going to build new here, this Royal Kids Castle bunk bed. Um, someone told me I could, like, stack them or something on each other. <gasps> oh, you can. Technically, you can stack it on... I don't know why I would stack it, to be honest. <laughs> Luckily, this isn't too expensive. So, the only enclosed space is right here in between. Like, if you... Like, in the center. Then in the center, there's a bit of space here. Trying to figure that out. <laughs> And, um, I did not, obviously I don't plan anything, so, and I'm gonna add a floor anyways, you know, I'm just gonna add a floor, and I'm gonna do green, wood green, <laughs> wood green floor, because why not? Okay, obviously the bedroom, quote unquote bedroom situation is taken care of, we don't have to worry about a bed. Uh, let's see, how shall we go about adding, like, a bathroom and stuff? The toilet, I'm gonna get the mighty flush, I'm gonna be a little cheap here. We can put the toilet there, and then a shower right across from it, like right here. <gasps> oh, you can put this on the outside. Okay, actually put the shower there. Maybe I'll like, oh, I love this little, like, this little area. Okay, maybe I'll put the toilet where to put things outside. I don't know. Okay, I'll leave the toilet inside there. Maybe I can put the sink, attach this to the wall. I'm going to steal another structural thing, and then place a mirror here i'll use the space one because like why not can i rescale it oh <gasps> thank goodness oh my gosh i always thought this mirror was a bit huge so i'm glad you can rescale it there you go you have a bathroom bathroom and bed taken care of i'm also going to be adding the dresser the kids wardrobe dresser i don't know where i want to put it um figuring out where to put a dresser i might sacrifice one of these shells just Maybe just one of them to put a dresser here. Oh, or I could put it right here in this little area. What? I feel like putting like the um shower there. I put the shower here. Oh, look, you can put the shower here. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put the shower here because it has its own like little space here. So might as well. Okay, I really want to use another one, but is that cheating? What if I just like put them back to back like this? I should do this. I should do this. Let me get rid of my random things in here. I'm gonna do back to back. You know. Where should I put the dresser? Where should I put the dresser? I'll put the dresser. <laughs> it's gonna be a little... It's not practical, like, realistically. Uh, I'm gonna put the dresser here, though. Just so it's, like, kind of hidden and within this castle thingy. But you can still change your clothes. Like, it's functional, but not, like, realistic or practical. So we'll just leave it like that. Bathroom here. This next room is gonna be the living room. I'm gonna do that. And since this is a kids-themed house, I'm probably just gonna use like some bean bags, the main like sofas, quote unquote sofas. And then on the wall, I'll put a TV right here. I'll just put it here. There's a TV. I don't know if I want the dresser there. I think I'll do, you know, those like kid dressers. I could probably put the kid dresser here and use this also as like a coffee table. So a quote unquote coffee table. And then I'm gonna use the new carpet. Because it's a new item. I would just put it like here in the living room. Like this. And you can rescale this too. There's that. We got a living room, a bathroom, the bedroom up top. Um, shower pretty much like in its own spot. What else do we need? A dining table? A kitchen! Now we need a kitchen. Oh no. A kitchen. Do you need a fridge? I'm going to grab a mini fridge. I think I have more mini ones. I'm going to do a mini one. And I might actually end up putting it... Let's move these bean bags up. I'm tempted to... I'm actually not gonna use the bean bags. I'm going to use the chairs, these tiny tot chairs. 
put those here and then i'll put the mini fridge put the fridge there there's probably there's definitely a way to make this oven work <laughs> if we sacrifice the other side like this back part of the castle to like you know, just appliances and stuff but even then that looks really silly it's just like literally putting it here i don't think we can do an oven so the mini fridge works fine maybe you can just add some appliances and make like quick meals and stuff after all kids build so they shouldn't really be like a you know they shouldn't be cooking cooking like crazy so we'll just do a simple mini fridge and appliances heat up some mac and cheese or something i don't know something very quick and easy i guess i can get a kettle for like drinks and whatnot here so we'll do kettle we'll get the not a coffee maker we don't want to do coffee maker let's do a toaster as well that's pretty simple still dangerous but it's okay i'll do a nice steel blue castle both of them and then the bed itself will be let's do like a white bed maybe i'll do like a blue bed too maybe i'll make the castle like out of wood grain as well or i could do a vertical plank i'm going to put the new nightstand over here something similar i did with the i don't understand how i don't understand i kind of want to add a little table as well just like a mini table and uh because it's like my little outdoor area I want a table out here just so I can like this is my outdoor dining I kind of want to attach an umbrella up here so I'm gonna use this basic shape real quick one moment let me, let me attach an umbrella <laughs> but like we kind of need a bit of shelter you know we need a bit of a roof over our head I'm gonna be adding a an umbrella you know just here and make it float actually I don't want it to float Hold I don't know don't question it oh it's not even centered at least center if I'm gonna do something silly like that do I want to use that one? Is that- oh, that does give you, like, shelter when you're sleeping, though. Like, it's pretty good. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I should use, like, a different umbrella. Looks so funny. That looks so funny. This is totally not a hazard to when you when you're sleeping or anything at all. It's like totally not a hazard. Pretend it's like part of the build. There you go. I'm not gonna lie, I need some lights on this thing, so I'm gonna add string lights. Especially like for nighttime and stuff. I'm gonna put the string lights. How do the string lights work when you like probably just gonna like float there when you close it, huh? So that's not a good idea. What if we never close it? You know, let's just never close it. This and that. It's like Ooh, super fun. And then, yeah, this is still my outdoor dining area. Maybe I should put that in the back. That'd be better. Better in the back, because this is like the backyard. Quote unquote backyard. And then I can put some toys and stuff, like the plushies and whatnot. I'm going to have them be my guests. Okay, you know what? They can't, you can't put them on the chairs. Well, I guess I'll just put some plushies out here. Cats, octopus. We can color it. <gasps> what? What in the world? Oh my gosh, you can color this thing. Okay, I feel like there's too much light. So I'm going to get rid of the string lights on the umbrella and just keep the one that's right. Let's create some scenery for this place. Yes, we're going to add some trees around it. it. Should be fine. I don't know. I don't know how to landscape. I don't exactly want to landscape this. Maybe you can do some dirt piles. And I'm just going to put more trees, big trees around. When in doubt, just add a bunch of trees. I kind of want to put like a little fence back here. Not even a little, it's going to be a big fence. Just to kind of block it off. Block it off. I don't know, just add random, random, random scenery around the house. Okay. You know what? That's fine. You know what? That's good enough. Yeah. Let me change the colors of these ones. Maybe I'll change the ones in the back so it's like super random too. I'm gonna add a few more things. There's a few more things to add. One of them being toilet paper. Let me add some toilet paper. Yes. I can actually add toilet paper here. And then I'm going to need a towel. Hmm. Okay. Where's the shower? The shower is right there. Towel, towel, towel. And I can add the towels out here. Isn't that lovely? All right, that's great. We'll get a plunger too, just in case. Put that inside here. I kind of want to put a plant on this wall. Some plant life, a little cactus. Okay. All right, we have a few plants inside. And I'll even add a bathroom mat or something here. Why am I doing this? I don't know why I have a bathroom mat in there. <laughs> I don't know how this is working. Okay, 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 I'm good, I'm good. I just added some more small details. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and tour our royal uh, bunk bed castle house. Yes, so as we approach it, you have an assortment of toys out here. Look at this carpet. Wow, it's like Bloxburg during the winter update. Look at that. It's snow <laughs> for the carpet. Um, yeah, you got your plushies, toys and whatnot. If you go on through, you have your bathroom area, first of all. So it has everything you need. Bathroom, proper bathroom. And if you need to shower, you go out here, go inside this thing, and then you can shower. Fully functional. It's a good little, like, quote-unquote 
private shower although like if anyone sees you from back here then yeah you're kind of doomed but other than that it's pretty like it's pretty fairly private that's where you shower you got your towels there too uh, let's go back through um, over here is our living room slash kitchen <laughs> So you can like watch TV and whatnot here. I forgot to color this dresser. Oh my gosh. How do I do this? But yeah, TV is fine. Watching TV is fine. You can also grab your meals and stuff. So if you want to, this is our main food source. Okay. Quick meals are the way to go. Mac and cheese. Sure. Let's put that in the microwave. That's something easy to make. You can also make like teas and poster stuff, poster meals. So there's that. And then back out here. Ah! Back out here is our outdoor dining area. So we have uh, meatballs. Yep, this is the grand dining room. The grand dining door dining area. I should put an umbrella out here. And boom, this is where we eat meatballs. Okay. Yeah, indoors you have your living room and bathroom. All right, let's go ahead and go upstairs. So this is where the bed, main bed is. There's two beds. So if you have like a friend or a family member, the other bed, because you, you just have two. That's the perks of having two castles. So there's that. And that's pretty much it. There's an end table here though. And this umbrella is keeping me um, dry from any uh, out, you know, raining. You know, rain is great. And that's pretty much the, uh, the build, but it is fully functional. You can fill up all of your moods here. Fun, hunger, energy, hygiene are fine. But anyway, guys, that'll wrap up today's Bloxburg episode. If you guys enjoyed this, you find it interesting, inspiring, make sure to uh, give it a big old thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button. It's completely free. I'll see you guys in the next video. And thanks for taking the time ready to watch this. Goodbye. Many of you were expecting this. What a great house. Yep, 10 out of 10, I would live here. <laughs>